Hi, beautiful. What's up, baby? What's up, cutie? What's up? You. You look incredible today. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for spending time with me. Sometimes life gets a little lonely and I just sit here and I talk to you strangers and I hope we can be besties. I don't even know where I'm going with that. <laughs> today I want to watch some TikToks of people doing satisfying haircuts. I know you love it and I love it too. Those TikToks when you see a good chop and you're like, where is this going? And then all of a sudden it becomes a beautiful masterpiece. Those are the videos that really touch me and I can't wait to see them today. So let's watch a bunch of satisfying haircuts, shall we? You know? Do you know or do you not know? Leave a comment down below. <laughs> the bang, the cut, the blowout was everything I've ever needed in my entire life. Do you see how shiny her hair was? Do you see how luscious her hair is? Oh my god. How I want that. Damn, damn, damn. That is what I call satisfying. I have seen this one before, I think. Black boy joy, she wanna see the forbs like I wanna see her form. Tell me what you fought, yeah. Hey, it pay me what I'm owed, yeah. Yo, she laid that hair down so good. And it looks so fresh and amazing and crisp. She did that perfect line, that bob in the back of her head without even fucking looking. I mean, she looked, but she like didn't, she wasn't standing behind her head doing the cut. She was like in the mirror. Impressive. Well, here's a story of how I did a really impulsive haircut that I'm still not sure if I regret or not. No matter which way I styled my hair, I just couldn't feel good in it. So I had nothing to lose. Except for here's where I panic. Okay, a little sections. We can do this. Cut. Three. Okay, I'm always impressed when people do these pixie cuts on the back of their heads. I mean, I gave myself a haircut last night, I'm not gonna lie, but it was very hard. And I also am a professional. And trying to see the back of my head, um, it's not possible, okay? I don't have eyes back there. So I gotta look in two mirrors and the shit gets confusing. And then these people are recording it while they do it. It's like, whoa, she's good elevation. She's cutting those layers correctly. Trying a razor. Uh oh, what did I do? Wait, did I do a thing? Did I, okay. All right, let's keep going with this. Okay, not the worst. We're onto something. And cut. We're just gonna keep cutting and cutting and cutting. Oh, she just keeps going and going and going. Slow down. Maybe just stop. This is the point where my view of this haircut changed like six different times. I have literally no idea where we're going with this. Like, I don't even know what the vibe is anymore. Okay, we're going a completely different route now. Yep, that happened. What are we shaving now? No going back now. Dear Lord, what did I do? All right, we're back at it. We're determined to fix this. Cut and cut and cut. And maybe try to even things up a little bit. I stopped suctioning a while ago. And now we're just gonna hack at the hair and pray to the hair gods for a good turnout. Trimming, trimming, regretting everything. Okay, this isn't satisfying. You said it was gonna be a satisfying, but this is not satisfying. I scammed them because of you. Let's try to dry this. How are we gonna pull this together? All right, and here is the finished result. I really don't know if I love it or hate it, but uh, yeah, this is this is what we got now. I love it. It's so you. It's so edgy. It's so cool. It's so good with the blue color. You did pull it together. I don't know what's inside that haircut. Like, I don't know what you actually did, and I don't want to know, and I don't even want to look inside and see and, and discover the truth, but the outward appearance of the cut looks fire, so I'll give you that one. doing curtain bangs and she just cut it right across oh no, no it's not like that we do it like this and she's gonna do that now she's gonna pull the bangs across her face give it that bevel but i don't know why we did it the other way first like i don't know why we did a straight line it was a little spooky <laughs> She 
She made that look so effortless. <laughs> Please watch Brad's tutorials instead of mine. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why. Like, I know it's annoying that I still get shook when people follow my tutorials. I don't know why I get shocked about that. I don't know, hair is just so important to people and to me. And then people learn from me and then do it themselves. It's such a cool moment. It's like, I don't know. It's so satisfying and it's cool. And she just like did that so effortlessly. She did that so effortlessly. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I am scared. Trust the process. That is the most luscious white hair I've ever seen. Oh my God. And the haircut just brought it to life. The layering, the face framing. Oh my God, she looks so gorgeous and like just full of energy with that haircut. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna be doing the butterfly cut. I just washed my hair. I do already have face framing layers, but I want something more defined and like have some in the back too because I don't have that in the back. It's all in the front. I'll come back when I have it um, sectioned. I can't talk. Putting up all of my hair took me 20 minutes. I'm not even kidding right now. <gasps> hair sectioning looks good. I'm gonna start right here. Hold on, what are those scissors? <laughs> what the f are those? Okay. I like honestly didn't even watch the cut because I'm still just, what are those scissors? I've never seen anything like it. Are they flat? Is there a whole piece? Why are they so tall? And she cut off so much hair. That is so good because when you do these cuts, you need to cut a lot off or nothing happens. That looks good so far. I just need to like fix it a little bit. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take it out and like touch it up so with the first layer. Cause I know I probably missed some spots. Oh, okay. Oh. This is a little scary. A little? <laughs> be pissing my pants right now. Like just full on pee down the leg. Down the leg. Okay, here it is, all finished. I'm literally obsessed with it. I'm gonna give it a 360. I don't know if you can see it. But oh my gosh, I feel like a model. I love this so much. Thank you, Brad Mondo. You're welcome. You slayed that. You look gorgeous. It accentuates the color you have going on. I love it. Awesome job. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Whoa, what was that? Hold on, what was that? Let's rewind that. What was that? Technique? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. I don't know what that was, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know, I can't explain that one. She pulled her hair forward and cut like the underneath. I just don't know what the plan was there or what that was supposed to do, but I don't know, well, yeah, I don't know. Would have preferred you to pull it to the side and razor it, boom, down. That would've given you nice face trimming. I don't know what that was though. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the back, yeah, get the bus. Whenever you guys cut towards your fingers, I literally have a panic attack. When I cut towards my own fingers, I have a panic attack. But when you do it, I panic even more. Cause you know how many times I've cut these fingers right there with those scissors? It's not fun. You guys are getting way too good at this. How is it coming out so good? I can see the improvements. Y'all are learning how to how to really slay your own haircuts at home. It's impressive. Like she just pulled it off and I have no idea how. If you know me, you know I hate when people do this. <laughs> I hate when people do this. Just bring all the hair forward and cut all together. If you do the cuts in different sections like this, you're going to have disconnection between your layers. You know what I mean? Think about that one. Yo, she's just going for it and she is doing it good. I'm dead. Her hair is so luscious. That blowout was the most satisfying part of 
Although, oh my god, the blowout with the, with the volume, with the boo, 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 it was perfect. Perfection. I love this woman. Do you not just see that? Do you not just see that slay, that major slay moment that she just did? She could have done it with her eyes closed. I know she could have. Easily. She could be like, like done. Uh, she made it look so simple and it looks freaking incredible, magical, ethereal, sexy haircut. Can I say sexy? All you gotta do first is make a straight line across your head from behind the ear to the other behind the ear. Now put a ponytail in the front of your head and make it look like a unicorn. Now we're just gonna do a really high Ariana Grande style pony in the back. Boom. This should be called a unicorn cut. I don't know who messed that up. Now cut off a good amount of hair. You're not gonna see the results unless you cut a lot off. I cut like four inches off the front and the back. And then once we let it down, you're gonna see all of that really, really beautiful face framing. Now just connect the sides. I'm gonna style it with some Viper smoothing oil and blow it out and boom. Look at how much layering she has. Oh my God. This blunt looks iconic with this cut. I'm obsessed with your piercings. Like, they are so good. They're so cool and so unique. Um, anyways, but the cut looks phenomenal. I'm so glad it worked for you. And I'm so glad you cut a lot off because you could actually see the results and like, I'm geeking out. Like, I don't know, that just, this cut just works so good for your face and just, it brings your whole look, your whole vibe together. So satisfying. Was that satisfying? How was that satisfying? <laughs> um, okay. We're gonna skip that one. I don't have any comments. <laughs> don't do that at all. I don't know how that one got in there, but that was not satisfying. <laughs> it was not a satisfying haircut at all. That was actually the opposite. What the fuck? That was so rude. <laughs> I can confirm those videos were very satisfying, except for that one. That definitely wasn't. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. If you want to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmonohair.com. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.